you lovely pickers. We're back at, on the dark below in Crota's End. We're trying once again to do the easy way of traverse the abyss. Okay, so most of you are having trouble with the light right at the top where you're not allowed to set it off before you get on the rock. So what we've done is we've worked out a new way of doing it. I was told this way by Fused Reborn once again, but I've also found a way of how it's much easier to do the part at the bottom too, which I will be showing you as soon as we get down there. As you know, I have already done a video on this and so you can check that one out if you find it easier. But if you just follow me now, we will get through this a lot quicker. So once again, you run forward and you just dodge and weave the best you can to avoid all the enemies so they can't kill you. If you get stuck, you can throw a grenade, but you must keep moving else you will just get overwhelmed and not get through. So what you can do is throw the grenade, but jump up on the rock. Now what I've found is it doesn't matter which part of the rock you stand on, whether you stand right at the top above the light or whether you stand on the second level, which I showed you in the first place, you will still end up on the ledge. So long as you stand far enough back so the light doesn't kill you. As I've just shown you with the second picture as well, it doesn't matter where you stand, you will still end up on the ledge. So the first part of the rock, don't even worry about where you are. Just make sure you are not in direct contact with the light and you will still get shot up into the air onto the ledge, no matter where you are. So that should make it a little easier <laughs> for those of you who are struggling with that part. Next, once you're up on the ledge, make sure you've got your heavy ammo set up and everything else. I always do it after I've got up there because what I've found is if you do it before you actually reach the ledge and you die, you end up losing half of your heavy ammo anyway. So if I was you, I'd wait until you do get up to the top ledge anyway. Okay, so once you've lost all the way to darkness, you just do this as normal. You run past the night and you run past all the holes and back up to the next light. So all this is like it was in the previous video. No different, just follow the same steps as we did before. Get rid of all the way to darkness again and run to the right. As you're running to the right this time though, we are not going to run towards the circular plate first. What we're going to do is go to the light. So instead of going to the circular plate, we're going to go to the light by where the rock is that we normally try and stand on to shoot the ogres. So we're going to stand by this light, we're going to get rid of all the way to darkness once again. And then once the light starts to go off and go red, move to the back of the map. Do not step on the plate, whatever you do. Wait for the light to explode. Step on the plate and then run forward once again and get on the rock, which will make life a lot easier for any of you that was struggling to do this. If you don't want to get on that rock, you can step up, or should I say you can jump up onto the rocks at the back of the plate just before the bridge. You can also stand there because you've lost the weight of darkness, so you should be able to get on them as well. It's entirely your choice which ones you want to stand on. And once again, you just do the usual thing, take out the ogres. The one thing I did notice by doing it this way is the ogres seem to move a lot faster. They spawn up and start moving a lot quicker than what they normally would if you left the light alone. So you must be prepared for that. And like I said, make sure you got your heavy ammo ready and just take them out. Once you've taken them out, as I said, they seem to spawn up differently. So yeah, once you've taken the ogres out, which I will get there in a minute, you just do the same old thing. You wait for the bridge to form, call your friends and say, okay, you can join me now if your friends are with you and they want to get, you know, the rewards at the end of this. So yeah, that's the other way of doing this, guys. I hope this bit has helped you. I hope this makes it a little easier for you guys to actually get through this part. And getting up on that rock is a lot easier now. So the bridge is formed. Go run for those lights. And I hope this has helped you get through. Take care and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.